going around corners. Moving through our indoor space, we're coming down a corridor and we are met by a corner. So now we have to clear that corner. So we begin by picking the inside wall to the corner and getting as close as possible. But don't touch it because you don't want any scraping noises giving your position away. So now we approach the corner. We scan the whole time for targets to make sure it's clear. You stop before you get to the end of the corner. You have to make sure that your weapon doesn't go around the corner. So give yourself a good arm's distance with a pistol or a little bit longer than that if you're using a two-handed weapon. Now we're in position and we're about to slice the pie. So the first point of order is I have to pick the corner and call that the pivot or the middle of my pie. That is where my attention is focused, along this line across the corner. We start the pie slice by taking a small step 90 degrees away from the wall. This creates a slice. You need to make yourself as small a target as possible. Now when you're controlling the recoil of the weapon, this is slightly more natural because you have to lean slightly forward, get behind your weapon. Keep your shoulders together tight and secure. You want to bring your elbows in to make it small and you want to be slightly lower than normal so you can both control the recoil of the weapon and make yourself smaller. When taking your steps, take them small but securely and ensure that your feet never cross. If you cross your legs, this is a very unstable position. With the real firearm, it's very hard to control recoil. And in the case of airsoft, in case you are met with a counter-attack from around the corner, you don't want to be caught having to run when you're in this position. When you're coming around a corner, you don't want the foot coming around the corner before the rest of you. So what you do not want to do is put your foot out first like this. What you want to do is draw an invisible line from your foot to your left side. And you want to move it all at the same time so your foot doesn't give you away. Don't let your body go out first or your leg. You want to maintain stability, but don't give them any more warning with your foot. Then I slide vertically, scanning from the floor to the ceiling to make sure it's clear of targets. That's one slice. Then I just repeat the procedure. One small step to the left, slice, clear. You just go all the way around until you finally hit to the 180 degree angle and you're clearing the corridor around the corner. The easiest way to practice is find yourself a corner and put a mirror around the corner and watch yourself as you come around it to make sure you're doing everything right. That about wraps up the skill for this video. Be sure to check out the other video parts in case you haven't already. And do subscribe to our channel today to see more of our videos and stay up to date with our latest products.